Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of AMZ Seller Real Talk. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm 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 hoping that you guys are enjoying these. We're enjoying these. Yeah. We're, we're especially going to enjoy the guests that we have on today. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, my name is Curtis Johnson. This is the lovely Jade Coleman, and then in the back we have the ever elusive either depending on how you know him he's either danan or justin oh he threw in little music that's great <laughs> danan and just danan and or or justin <laughs> coleman or justine depending on how you know him yep. um and his lovely daughter lorelei sitting on the lap oh, oh that's that precious was... she did a huge <laughs> smile which you will see good um and with us today we have paul and rochelle baron who are you know what i'm gonna let them tell us yes. about their journey and their life but um with that i'm trying to think if there's any other housekeeping points before we just dive right in i don't think so right no oh, but she's gonna Laura ask some Lai, questions so too <laughs> lorelei definitely is gonna have some questions yep good um so <laughs> dana keep it together it's my challenge to you <laughs> what's awesome is for anyone who's seen a couple of these episodes we don't cut this podcast at no. all so this is all making it into the final edit yeah <laughs> anything you say or do it's will there. be used against you Ooh. in a court of law so my strip tease act later on. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, the, do one, that the, later. One you had, the one you had scripted. Yeah, yeah. yeah the one that we'll scripted that, that you sent that's, me. That's the one specifically <laughs> only for MBS users. We will try and keep this PG thirteen. I am having a hard time believing we will. <laughs> Why don't we let them talk? B and B littles. Yeah, Tell me. Bo. Yeah, Bo and Bell. Bo and uh, Bell. Yeah. So Tell we it. named the company after our son. Beauregard, and uh, when we were coming up with names, well, do you want to tell the naming story and all that journey of like... When did that start? Uh, we started about five and a half years ago, and the funny thing about the naming was we were trying to, like, because he was a baby, so we were trying to come up with like a name that would be like cutesy, and uh, we looked up Bo Peeps. And that was Little. really not appropriate, if you can imagine <laughs> where that would lead. Just, just think about like, peep, I think the peep shows. <laughs> Bo is handsome. Oh, boy. Did you so, hear so you went Bo regard. He just fell down Very the stairs. I'm pretty sure he just fell down the stairs, too. Oh, oh boy. You can hear him in the There's background. There's no screaming, so he's okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only minor injuries, nothing sad. Anyway, so we were we were coming up with names. Uh, we knew that we were going to get into the baby market. When we were doing all of our product research early on, this was like before the era of tools, right? Mm -hmm, there was mm -hmm. no tools. You just The tool was Amazon, and you go in to Amazon. Brain. In yep. your brain. Yep. yep. Um, <laughs> And then I could be a tool every now and again, but we won't talk about that. Uh, <laughs> but um, we're doing all of our product research, right? So we signed up for ASM um, 5. And we were concurrently, like, I was doing my product research and stuff and on my own. And she would then watch the, the videos at, like, a normal person hour. Like, I would watch them as soon as they came out. I think they were released on, like... Fridays at midnight, yeah. meaning like Thursday night, you know, yeah. mid, like 12.01 a.m. on Friday morning, technically. And so I watched them like I was like into it. And she watched them like a normal person at normal hours. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and so we decided that we would each go through the course kind of together, but independently. And, and during the product research phase, I was coming up with my own stuff. And what we were doing was we were narrowing our search based on category because we knew um, I have a background in marketing and, and working with brands and helping them get found, uh, oh, wow. doing digital marketing and that sort of stuff. Nice. So I knew that when we were when we were establishing a brand, we were going to be establishing in a specific niche, right? So not just we're going to sell, um, you know, baby spoons and coffee koozies and kayaks <laughs> and blenders, right? Like whatever is the most random stuff. Like I see I see sellers still doing this, and it blows my mind. Uh -uh. Like why they do that um so i don't we know what you're niche, talking about she just coughed at her husband <laughs> oh Dana, how, do you, how do you know Dana was it me <laughs> i mean i'm not trying to insult you Dana. Uh, but you should probably do a different way <laughs> i'm working towards that <laughs> that's good i did I'll, really however like, add coffee recently you sound like the voice of god because i don't see you you're just disembodied <laughs> You can keep that thought up. That's fine. The voice of you're the ghost. You're the ghost in the room. That's what's yeah. going on. Um, <laughs> anyway, 
So we were both. I ha- I both had I had a ton of options in baby. She had a ton of, a bunch of options in baby. Mm-hmm. And so then we decided to come up with a name. Um, and we were you know thinking okay well we want to kind of name it after a son. And so we ended up we were going to go with Bo Littles. And I don't like that because I didn't want people to think that it was just a company for baby boys. Sure. Uh. So um, when we added Belle, which is my nickname for her, um, beautiful. So people will often ask us when, like, who's the Belle? Um, the funniest thing, too, is when we had Lael, our daughter, um, she was born three, 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 three years, years after the company started. Yeah, we were, she was born two years after the company was started. People were asking if, if we were going to name her Belle. Like, yeah, we're going to name her after the company. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, unique at all. Well, it's like the sloppiest, sloppy seconds you can get. Like, we named the, we named the company after our son, and we name our daughter after our company. So she's like two degrees named after Bo. <laughs> I, I would say no, that in terms of sequence, that. Yeah. that that was a wise choice not right, to do that. Right. <laughs> can you can you imagine the trauma, like all the counseling she'd have to go to late, later in life? Of like, she'd be hey, so I don't resentful. Feel like my parents value me other than as a model for the. At company. least she's not named like COVID or something like that. You know, oh my God. I'm a product of marketing. <laughs> 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 That's what we'll call it. She's a product of mark marketing. <laughs> <laughs> I've never uh, heard it called that before, Curtis. That's good. I'm <laughs> you want to go I'm, talk I'm, about some marketing full later? Of original can we, can we do content. like a little like um like a uh, action screen, shot of action. him like exploding <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from the from the <laughs> yeah marketing. Um. So yeah. So that I mean that was a start. Our name back in the day. Um. I guess that's just the name. I what uh, what I'm. I'm down. I'm so far down the rabbit hole. I can't even remember the the question you asked. You were talking about your name when y'all um, started and how it all came came about. Your story. Yeah. So, when we started, uh, my friend, I signed up because my friend Nate had like a killer first month, and by killer, like he did fifty grand in sales his first month. Dang. He was ASM four. Yeah. He launched in December 2014. And I remember seeing him posting about it on Facebook, and I literally thought that he was helping another company launch on Amazon. Oh, wow. I oh, didn't wow. know that you could, like, make your own products and sell them. Like, to me, again, my background being in marketing and helping other agents, or as an agency, helping other companies market their products, generally it was, like, people that were doing, like, wholesale distribution deals, right? And then they had a, a deal to sell something wholesale on Amazon or on their website or something along those lines. Um, fast forward to March when I started watching the ASM videos and I was like, okay, this seems like a total scam. I was <laughs> like, this is MLM, like Amway. Right. Um, it's, yeah, it's I didn't questionable. Know what was going yeah. On. But um, had, a, had a couple calls in, um, with him, um, had a conversation with Rochelle. And surprisingly, like I was surprised that you were in on it like you were behind it because we didn't have the money i was um working nights as a waiter because we had just had Bo. he was at this point eight months old nine nine months old eight nine months old um i had i was trying to start an agency uh in the days with my with my one of my best friends doing web development web design and marketing he had gotten a full-time job like two months into this venture so it was basically me doing most things because mm. uh, his time was super limited. Sure. Right. So I picked up a part-time job at night to pay the bills. We had no money. Yeah. Um, I had, I had, this is a funny story. Do you know why I got the Discover card? That she probably, she probably has never heard this before. <laughs> I, I love the truth live comes out. telling of stories. <laughs> so, it's good. so there was this game that I was addicted to playing for years. It was called Smite. Mm. And uh, <laughs> oh boy. and you get they gave you bonus like gems or whatever like the in yeah. ca- in game cash if you did like affiliate offers and they had an affiliate offer for Discover so I applied and I got approved I just had this credit card that I just never used I just got this credit card because why not um, <laughs> <laughs> because why awesome. not you know uh, yeah away. so I had this credit card and at the time it had a five thousand dollar limit um, and. I increased that limit by saying that my income wasn't what it wa- what it actually was. Nobody <laughs> ever it. does that. <laughs> Who does ever. <laughs> what? Never. <laughs> so so we put the course in a credit card. All of our inventory order was on that credit card, and so I, we were extremely motivated. Yeah. yeah. To, yeah. and by we I mean what you're laughing. 
Yeah. The high AP. You didn't know about the Discover why I got it? No. <laughs> I'm still laughing about it. <laughs> uh, so I had this Discover card that I never used. Um, and I was like, well, we could put it on, on, on there. Yeah, and, it was a real sink or swim. Yeah. <laughs> because if we if we didn't make it, if we if the business was not successful, we would have been totally screwed. Yeah. Yeah. Just payments alone yeah. of the card. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Like Discover's interest is absurd. It's like thirty like percent. Yeah. It's like or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. No, thank you. Yeah. They're like Yeah. And I can make so many analogies that are inappropriate. <laughs> PG thirteen, PG thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> Those are NCS seventeen and she, she definitely Jade definitely jumps in when, when conversations start going in the so. wrong direction. Oh, okay, come back on the rails. <laughs> right. Yeah. So yeah, that was the start of our journey, and um, because Nate had such an amazing first month, I I was immediately calculating, okay, how many months at fifty thousand dollars per month will it take me to make twenty million dollars? <laughs> um, and I was like, well, that's going to happen in no time. I wasn't calculating product costs, I wasn't calculating marketing costs, I wasn't calculating anything because this is my first venture into doing physical product stuff, right? Right, right. First two, she's not very entrepreneurially minded prior to this i feel like now she's she's got the buck like she's really good at running the company now she's amazing um going into it i was just shocked that she was like yes that sounds like a good idea let's put it on the credit card and i was like wait you what <laughs> who are really? you really <laughs> yeah that's awesome i don't know i mean it was one of those things where we prayed about it and we agreed yeah uh, we talked a lot and um anyway it just it ended up i mean through a lot of hard work and a dash of luck, like it ended up working and um, we've had a ton of success along the way. And I mean, this year is, we're still in business. So that's good. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, kids, that's a oh, this has been a, <laughs> a unique yeah. year. Kids still unique. have to go swimming. So yeah, we generate a lot of sales from the vacation market because you know, when they go, people go, on vacation they oh. want to buy a reusable swim diaper to pack yeah, it's a yeah. lot easier cheaper less expensive to pack and you know when you're going to like aruba or something and so because of all the travel this year we're like at six percent growth over last year mm -hmm. we were targeting 60 percent oh, mm -hmm. so at least we're not negative yeah that's true that's true and like you said at least you're still in business right yes so you um you came up with your own product and like because it's, it's different than everything else that I've seen out there, right? So that was something you designed yourself, right? A little. Yes. I'll let, Rochelle, I'll let yeah. Rochelle tell the story behind that. Because she's the product research whiz. Like right. when she said it was my brand, it really is. She's like, she's really, really good. She can find a winning product like a unicorn mm -hmm. in like five to ten minutes. I'm not kidding. Wow. It's That's amazing. amazing. Yeah. So then, yeah. okay. What is what is kind of the methodology that you go through, and or did go through, and then do go through? Well, I think that there was some luck to it too. Like, I, because of when we were stop <laughs> touching me. I'm just trying to focus your voice into the mic. I you know, know it's so I'm funny. I regularly want to do that with Jade, but I'm not her husband, so I just feel like it'd be inappropriate. So this is much, <laughs> much more, like, I is understand. Is it PG-13 if I punch him in the face? Yes. 100%. Yes. 100%. Yes. In fact, you're allowed to swear just only a certain number of times. So, yeah, And only certain words. I don't think yeah. you can drop the F-bomb. Don't drop the F-bomb. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. You know, Facebook, know. YouTube, they really don't like the F-word. Yeah. But please, tell us. Well, so, you know, because we... Were, we took ASM in the spring and we put it on a credit card. My my idea was let's launch a summer seasonal product first because mm -hmm. it'll sell. Mm -hmm. And so it was kind of it was kind of luck that we ended up with the products that we ended up with. But it also had a lot to do with using like logic and analytics based around our product. So mm -hmm. when I was doing the research there were so many products that Just were like diapers there what but like oh products in general yeah but like okay. there's so many products like on our pay like first keyword so like for swim diapers mm -hmm. when i was looking for that like every single one was like an amazon vendor mm. Mm. so when you look at the tools now it'll say like sold by amazon right like instead of fba mm -hmm. or third party or whatever mm -hmm. sold by the name of the business owner 
And so, like, all of them were Amazon. And so Amazon does a great job at ranking themselves just because they will put their stuff at the top. Like, <laughs> yeah. we have and never been number one <laughs> on our keyword because of those Amazon ones. Wow. Right. Like, they automatically will rank them higher. They automatically put their ads first. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just the name of, like... Even yeah. though they have to trust. <laughs> <laughs> right. Maybe they don't do that. They right. Well, it. you can't be that far off the mark if no. they're being actively looked at in yeah, that area. Yeah, yeah. And and that right? is true because I've I've run into what you've run into. I know other people that have run into what you run into. So it's not it's not you know, it's not small small beans there. Right. <laughs> but they don't optimize they don't know how to run right. like which is weird they don't yeah. know how to run their own ads like yes. when they call you and tell you to like that they're gonna like help you with your ads account and they come up with all these dumb things you're just like really are you sure <laughs> is that the best you have to offer <laughs> <laughs> like this is what you're doing for yourself so, like, <laughs> that makes total like that makes zero sense I, like why would i ever use that keyword right. that isn't even related to my product it's like it's not only keywords but then it's just like basically their general advice is you just need to spend more money yes i'm like yeah that is not it what yeah you know as a company that benefits from you spending more money you realize that's actually brilliant advice <laughs> Right. <laughs> for the gullible for not the gullible. for you <laughs> right but for them for sure yeah it's really it's funny so so i would say that our success is because of that because there weren't a ton of third-party sellers selling our product and yeah. we were competing against basically amazon and we basically created like created a product that was similar but better yes Mm -hmm. that sure. made a huge difference and it's funny we actually launched on the very first time prime day ever like we didn't even have real um product images, images. No. they were My they God. were kind of stock images but not even of our product they were just like the color of our product. no they were no no no, no. it was the, it was the same print but, but it, it was, was a cloth, cloth it was a cloth diaper not <laughs> a swim diaper that's awesome yeah. wow so, and then, so I just threw it up and I like literally started ads right away and we were starting getting like organic sales and Paul came running downstairs. He's like, no, oh my no, gosh, no, we no, got no, our no. first organic sale. And I, I was, was like, I, I know. I was at work. I was at work. I know. I like I started it. Like it's fine. We'll just I was, keep going. I was serving <laughs> MoBeta and I saw that you had turned on the, on, on the ads and I saw that you had turned on the listing because I, I had the Amazon app on my phone. <laughs> so I, at first I was like, why did you do this? Like, we don't even have the images yet. I'm so thankful that she did do it because of it. The fact that it was on prime day, we had nine sales our first day. That's wow. awesome. Like I was stoked wow. out of my mind. Yeah. Um, the what's our, what's been our best day? I was like the best day ever. Like a thousand. Oh, no. I, I don't even know. I mean, how many units have we sold in a day? Yeah uh i have no idea several hundred approaching a thousand is like our best day now uh, we so full disclosure like again terrible time of year uh yesterday what did we end the day like at 13 what was it thir it was 13 <laughs> when you looked at like 6 p.m yeah. th thank you covid um, you're a covid I, success it was funny like i i had this distinct i remember when 13 was our best day and that was like short like in august and be, so it was like, we could see that our listing was gaining traction. So I had thought that like August was gonna pick up. And I think we did like $8,000 of sales in August. I think we broke the 10,000 in uh, November or December. And I was like, this is it. We're, we're gonna be, we're gonna be millionaires. <laughs> and we're gonna, I'm like thinking of the ranch that I'm gonna move to. And I'm like, this is amazing. It's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh something tells and me it didn't quite go as expected other, right? well first then we tried to launch bamboo washcloths oh and, yeah a lot of people did that uh, that that was saturated and there's quality issues well, that we first had. of all he didn't listen to what i said we should do with them <laughs> let's, let's get that clear I'm, I'm, i feel like that's probably not what happened really. <laughs> that is true what i love about this is now, it's basically an attempt to do a biography say, go back in time and would you consult with yourself and say knowing what you know now about the bamboo washcloth market would you say that would be a good move then her advice she wanted to go with a double ply um washcloth I think that Bo is shouting at me. 
Yeah, yeah probably. Okay. He probably wants me to log on to my iPad. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm parenting gonna, I will everybody talk. I'm parenting gonna be a father for a second i will be right back okay real, real life seller talk exactly that's right Coming a pandemic i'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> this is covid homeschool remote schooling uh, is, I, I get zero work done where oh, are you yeah. guys located we're in colorado okay well, that's so the right real now, reason. Like Shut one down. in fifty people have yeah. it right now. Oh, wow! Is that yeah. a that's lot? Fun. I don't that, know. No, that yeah, that's a lot. Oh, that, okay. That's a lot. A lot. Oh yeah, one in fifty. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. No, I, thought you, so I thought you said one hundred fifty right now with online school. Okay. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. That's what yeah. I wanted to do as an entrepreneur. <laughs> Hashtag a, a COVID home, life. A homeschool mom. Yeah. Well, yeah. while running your business. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, okay, so then obviously y'all didn't get far with the bamboo stuff. No, but they've turned into great lead magnets. I'm not kidding. Yeah, okay. Like this is a great lesson on um if you have a product that doesn't work on Amazon and I see this all the time in different communities, right? People are like, Well, I have this thing and it's can someone buy my inventory? Yeah. Um I would give people advice and say don't quit. Like one of the reasons why it's probably not working is because you haven't done enough differentiation. There's nothing unique about your brand. There's nothing unique about your products. Like literally this is not the field of dreams. Yeah. Okay. Right. People like it, you know, it's kind of sold like that in a lot of circles, <laughs> Yeah. but you can't just like buy something, put your label on it. And that is it. That's yeah. the only thing. And then right. you have a hundred other people selling the exact same thing. And then you can't expect to win in that mindset. That's why there is so much black hat hat, black hat hat, black hat stuff. He's in a black hat. Ninja hacks going mm -hmm. on. Black hat hat. Black <laughs> hat stuff going on. Like, um, and then just chintzy things to like artificially inflate sales because yeah. literally you can't maintain these like if you have nothing unique about your brand if you have no following if there's no, no reason that people should buy your product over the competition other than price you're gonna lose yeah, yeah. that's a race to the bottom yeah yeah so then you're so then lose. how did y'all do it if you um so you got your you said that your um bamboo washcloths were kind of a would you call it a lead lead generator or yeah so we've turned them into a lead magnet now oh, okay yeah, lead magnet. We, we pulled them off Amazon one because of quality issues. So if we had an opportunity to redo it, I probably would have used the more expensive ones. Mm -hmm. um, but even then it would have been a hard launch just because of the way that the competition was. And yeah, really it was, it was a competition of like price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And who could drive the most traffic to the listing. And, right. and that's, you can make money doing that. But it's, you make it's, less, like sure. you make less. So your and margins are so much lower when yeah, you do that. Yeah. And so we use them as lead magnets now. Like we took all the packaging, we took them all apart and we sorted out through like which ones were having um, like sewing issues. Sewing sure. issues. And now we use them as a lead magnet to bring people in. Like, hey, we'll send you these for free. And then it's it's a cheaper way to build our list. Yeah, wow. that makes sense. Okay. Or get reviews or launch products. Or, right. And, because like the, the value behind, I guess what it comes down to is like how we did it differently <laughs> is that we really focus on, I really focus obsessively on brand and brand story and, 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 and the appeal of the brand, right? Be, I mean, this is something that a lot of Amazon sellers do not do, unfortunately, because I think for one, they just don't know how. Sure. Mm -hmm. Two, there's not the gurus telling them that they need to do that. All the, yeah. all the, the gurus are telling them that they need to just find a product, get rebates going, rank to the top, and then start getting reviews. And like that's okay, that's cool. But that's that's like a that's like a one month strategy. Yeah, right. and definitely. What you're doing is you're looking one month, the next month, and but you need to have a, a year strategy and a three year strategy and a five year strategy and a twenty five year strategy, even if. You don't plan on owning the business for 25 years. If you build it like it's going to last for 25 years, it's going to make it easier to sell and it's going to be more profitable. Yeah, 100%. Uh, in the long run, and it's going to be, there's going to be more value on the sale. Well, and I think that like 
there are so many different things that you're trying to do all at once that the branding part tends to get missed because it's not seen as valuable yeah and it's not seen as something that's like super important because you're looking at the dollar amount well, you're looking and at you're the ROI. Not, and right. you're not yeah. seeing that the long-term benefit is actually going to help you but the good thing with like us is that we are paired completely opposite in our strengths and our weaknesses i guess so like paul's really good at communication and relationship and so that's where the whole branding story and like the at, branding development comes to you're amazing at relationship you're just you're more you're diff, your approach is different i'm just saying like as far as like the business side of sure. the company like you are very marketing focused right, like and i'm very like uh logistics and administration and doing the things that people like paul who are like what's like the I'm like I'm personality like a type meaning brain it's like that's excited very excited about yeah. one thing yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. on to the next. I thing. feel like most entrepreneurs have a little bit of ADHD that are like, <laughs> that, like the, you know what I mean? They're like, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. like the shiny objects and oh, yes. totally. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, God, this I, is, this I mean, is like I Justin sh- and me to a T, like <laughs> exactly yeah. us. And it's like that's why I start companies when I get bored. <laughs> like, like yeah, I've done. You know what? I'm, I'm only working like 40 hours this week. I, I, should, I should probably start another company. <laughs> okay, so um, along the lines of uh, making a brand and everything, so obviously that also gives you a line to do um, various SKUs. But y'all took it to an, the next level, and you ended up on a couple of talk shows, or or what was it? The, um, there for a while, you were. Uh, yeah. So. Um, we were really early on. Um, I think I was way more focused on PR mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At, at the start, which that hasn't been as big a focus of mine right now, which could be why we haven't gotten as many press hits mm. um, recently. Um, I think the last big one that we had was, well, I guess we won the Mom's Choice Award this year. Um, was it this year? I think it was this year in May. I, I don't know. Anyway, I mean, that was one, but then we had... Um, uh, we were named best in our class by parents.com, which is a huge, oh, wow. yeah. I mean, huge vote of confidence last year. But yet um, in 2016, we were flown out to New York to be on the Rachel Ray show. It was That's a contest was. that I had applied for. Rochelle actually found it. She forwarded it to me. Um, I I can't say that I'm still a Shark Tank junkie. I, I love the show, <laughs> but at the time... I really was a shark tank. I'd watched every show all the time. Sure. Mm-hmm. And um, Barbara Corcoran is one of my favorite personalities on the show. And she's an amazing person in general. Um, so this contest was you win $10,000 and a hour consultation with Barbara. Oh, wow. And so for me, like I was more excited about winning the consultation. With Barbara sure. Than the, than the accolade. Yeah. I mean, that was awesome. So um, I had applied and um, I had quit my night job at the time I was waiting tables, I quit, but we were still like going, we were in our slow season. So I picked up part-time work with a buddy who I'd worked for before, who had actually incidentally fired me before, which is <laughs> a, a whole fun story. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> this, I just have, there's so many fun stories. <laughs> so I was working for him part-time, just doing like odds and ends, like SEO and, and marketing, digital marketing things. And um, I, I was just like, man, I wonder what happened with that application. And um, I got an email from the the people at OnDeck, which was the, it was a microfinancer, basically, micro lender. And it was the person running the account. She said that I was a finalist. I had to sign, we had to sign so much stuff. And we had to get- Oh, just to be on the show, right? No, not just to be on the show. This was to be a part of the contest. They oh, had wow. no mention of the show at all. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then I went up, um, I was hiking or hunting or something. I was in the mountains. Um, there's no cell reception up in the Canyon. I was, I think it was fishing. Um, and I came down and I had a voicemail from a producer at the Rachel Ray show, which I've saved because I mean, it's amazing. And it was, yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah. Hey, this is Brittany from the Ray. I'm a producer with the Rachel Ray show. We're, we were in communicating with on deck and we'd love to see if you'd be able to come out and be on the show, um, <laughs> next week. You're like, Hmm, yes. let me give that a thought. <laughs> yeah. I'll clear my entire <laughs> so- schedule. No problem. <laughs> So it was really funny because I call her back and um, I was in the office at this time. I'm talking, I was like blowing my mind. I'm like, this is, well, this is insane. Um, and I'm in the office, Jonathan's office, my friend. 
And um, she said, yeah, I work for um, the Rachel Ray. Are you familiar with the Rachel? Have you heard of Rachel Ray? <laughs> like, um, yeah, yeah, I live in America. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you were hunting or fishing Ray. or uh, hiking or something up in the mountains. So maybe that's a regular thing. Yeah. <laughs> Not watching yeah, TV. So it was amazing. And um, long story short, like we've been on, we've had several TV appearances. And the funny thing about like being on TV is generally the producers will be like, hey, we want you to come on at, um, it'd be like 9 p.m. Like, we want you to come on tomorrow at 6 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, yeah, yeah, no, that's uh, very short notice, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, we okay, I guess we'll do it. So that was like their first TV appearance in this local news station. Um, anyway, so we fly out to New York and um the whole thing was recorded but it was like a live studio audience so they recorded it in november it aired in december we had a big old watch party at mobeta the, the restaurant that i used to work at wait tables mm -hmm. so super fun like a lot of my old co-workers were there and then That's like awesome. we had a bunch of support from the community and um yeah we ended up winning we won the award uh, we're flown back out to new york we uh, had to pay for Oh, I thought we, they flew us out again. Oh, well, well whatever. We had a paper at that time. <laughs> one but paid, the first one. time, CBS paid, which was fun. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we, they, we flew back out for the consultation with, with Barbara. Um, they gave us the check then, which we immediately deposited. <laughs> short, short on cash because it was genuine. You're like mobile deposit as you're talking to Barbara. <laughs> 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 Basically, I'm pretty sure that we even deposited it in my personal account because there was Fargo. a world, there was a Wells Fargo across the street, oh, and we banked awesome. like at a local bank, and so there was no way to deposit it. So we're like, Wells Fargo, let's go. <laughs> what would have been even funnier if you set up the account on the way to New York? <laughs> <laughs> Must deposit. Yeah, so now. that was like our first big TV hit. Then later that year, we. Um, I had this harebrained idea to start emailing athletes to see if we could produce limited edition prints in partnership with them awesome. uh, for, to donate to a charity of their choice. Right. Oh, so wow. I was assuming that we would have to be, we'd have to be emailing, like, I don't know, like getting in contact with a hundred people yeah. before we ever heard back. My goal was to get Michael Phelps to, to work with us. Um, and incidentally his agent emailed us last year and I'll get to that, but um so it was super cool we first email like we're a big u.s soccer fan supporters uh there's a team a member of the team her name is lauren um holiday mm -hmm. and she had uh she had just had a baby how old was jt she was, she was nine months when we flew out six months six months old because she was teething yeah yeah um so she just had a baby and we're like, we had emailed, I'd emailed her agent and long story short, it ended up, we did a limited edition print in partnership with her mm -hmm. um, and her husband, they have a foundation that they just do for charity work. Mm -hmm. um, right now they, they focus a lot in like um, underserved communities, like um, black owned businesses and stuff. It's super cool. Yeah. Awesome. Um, anyway, so that was really, that was amazing. We got to meet her and she, her story is incredible because she had a um, when she w got pregnant with JT, she was diagnosed with a brain tumor. Oh, um, oh dang. Jesus. Ended up having to have surgery right after she, was it right after she delivered? It was like C-section and surgery? I don't know the exact timeline, but it was pretty soon <laughs> It was really after. close. I mean, still. And, she's uh, like, I documented just, the whole thing, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's there, there. Yeah, so we got to go to their house, like hang out. We shot a video in their house and like drew her husband, like, what like she sent him out with JT and and Bo mm -hmm. to watch to watch them and so like Drew's this amazing NBA player like, <laughs> amazing and he became our babysitter and he was our day. babysitter <laughs> <for> the <day. laughs> they're like amazing they're so they're amazing people yeah I mean if you know any athletes that are like high degree like high they're that's just high they're just level normal, they're just normal yeah. people their job right. is just in pro athletics that's right. it they're just sure. in front like, of the camera really cool people so um anyway yes yeah, so we've had a lot of fun success sometimes i feel like it's like accidental and super lucky 
Um, if uh, hold on there now, because yeah, I'm gonna. I was, da, 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 no, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I wouldn't think so because I'm seeing a pattern here. Yes, I'm seeing a pattern of you um, pulling out and reaching out to different, like thinking outside of the box. That's what I was like, just gonna say. Let's apply for this contest. Let's mm -hmm. you know talk to our local uh, our local news or local um, channels. Let's send emails to athletes and do a partnership with him. I mean, and, and, and that's exactly what I was going to say, because like you, you gotta, hey, maybe this is f coming from, we're looking at this from a very different perspective because yeah, yeah. for you guys, this has been the normal operation, right? But the takeaway that anyone listening to this can have is that, oh, okay. Yeah. It's not just get really good at Amazon PPC, right. do a weekly newsletter and right. then you're done. It's, you can do things that would maybe to the untrained eye seem a little crazy, but that if you are persistent enough, you know, every now and then you get a win. Yeah. And it can be huge. Yeah. I mean, like you said, she, she picks really great products, but even, even the, even the so-called flops, you guys you know, have the you dynamic, turn it, turn it dynamic into duo. Yeah. You turn it into something, <laughs> something that works. So it's, I, I just see a positive viewpoint from you yeah. guys and thinking outside the box is what I'm, I'm, yeah. And I mean, I'm, I guess luck, but I think that's me. <laughs> yeah. I'm, but luck is a quantity a, of action done yeah. in the right like, way. Like I don't, yeah. I don't have a college degree. I went to school for pastoral leadership mm -hmm. at that's a awesome. international leadership school in Australia. Okay, so like in Australia. My back, my <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Back up. Where are you from? I'm in Colorado. I'm from Colorado. Oh, okay. But you went to Australia for your um, for my for international leadership college. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So. Um, a part of my story is like when I came home uh, in this, it was uh, 2002, the entire year that I was there in Australia, um, 2003, I just couldn't get back to school. Like my, my dad had been laid off. They mm -hmm. lost their house was foreclosed on. Wow. Like it, there was no financial support for me to get back. Like all the jobs that I had lined up in America to work while I was at home for Christmas break, everything fell through. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so for this was when I was 20, I think 20 years old. And um, I was sort of forced to adapt very early to like, I had to do stuff like I did credit card sales, credit card processing sales, I did loan origination, I tried to start my own videography and company like borrowing equipment from people. Um, I did, I don't know, you name it, I did it. And I was right. always I was always having to do that. And so that's just the way that my brain works, is right? That, that same method of hustle, and you just got to do what you can now. Fortunately, I have good enough influences and, and mentors in my life that I knew that in order to to win, we couldn't just rely on selling a product. Like it had to have a brand. There had to be a sure. story behind it. It has to be something, re some reason why people want to buy it other parent than the fact switch. that it's just a good product. Sorry, one second. We have a parent oh, switch fine. occurring. So carry on. So anyway, that's, yeah thinking outside the box yeah the, the thing is like i'm kind of like this crazy person that like shoots after all these ideas yeah and she's just grounded just always moving it's like the tortoise and the hare yeah like she's just always moving just always at her own pace just always moving forward and me i'm like can i remind you who wins the race <laughs> i had the thought i wasn't gonna say it but since she did it's perfect exactly <laughs> but that i mean that's a good analogy because like i mean the really it's like um, if we didn't have the, my crazy ideas, we wouldn't have gotten the exposure, but we wouldn't have gotten the exposure if we didn't have a great product. Right. It's the fundamental below, happened. below any of that. Yeah. Yeah. Jade, you look so different. Yeah. Right Gained a lot of weight in that short period of time. That's, I went uh, out to the woods. Disturbing. <clears throat> I mean, I went out Weird. to the woods. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, so, you look really dark. You look very shadowy. Maybe it's your hat. Maybe you, yeah, I think you look like shadowy because of that. There we go. Brightness has resumed. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. So, so then, um, did I did I get this right? You, you okay? So, in also all of your marketing experience, you've had lots of success with ManyChat. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Um, so much so that you uh, spoke at an event and I spoke. So I've spoken a ton, um, and it was sort of. In, back in 2018, I had a goal that I wanted to, to I, I, I wanted to get into public speaking to do like, um, not motivational stuff, but like, I guess, just help people. Like, sure. I, that's why I went to school to be a pastor, right? I wanted to help people. 
So um, I wanted to get on stage and help people. And so the first speech that I gave was at a SellerCon 2018 in Orlando. And it was on um, building a brand that the media loves and talking about our story, like how we got, how we partnered with Lauren and Drew and how we got on the Rachel Ray show, how we, how she was interviewed by Forbes magazine alongside Barbara Corcoran and all this stuff. And um, concurrent to that, like in that same year, actually 2017 and 2016, 2017 is when I started experimenting with chatbots. Um, I had started using a service called message hero. Um, and a precursor. It's, yeah. It's MSG. And my, my partners at the time were like this, they would call it massage hero. <laughs> and they were convinced they were trying to convince me to switch over to many chats. So, um, prior to the event in or in Orlando, we flew out, and that's where you and I met, Danon. Mm -hmm. I remember the uh, beach in was it Clearwater? I think it was. Is that I thought? No, I thought we met at in Orlando because no, no. Gwen. No, we. Small, no? You had just had Gwen. You came yeah. to the so ASM uh, Matt uh, Matt. Uh, they Clark. did some promo oh, videos at the Clearwater the house barbecue. that they rented. Yes. That ridiculous mansion. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> remember that? Yes. And I he came that. home like super like bromanced for you. And... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It, you know, it's yeah, fine. It's not offensive. It. Well, it's like, sense. I met this really cool couple and they have a baby. Her name is Gwen. <laughs> and I remembered her name because I'm we were like, we were thinking of naming Lael Gwen. Um, and, and so anyway. Um, <laughs> nice backpedal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My wife said the same thing about me, but I have no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> they're 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 brats. Um, <laughs> so that was my first thing, but then I started immediately like at the Orlando house, at the Clearwater house, I was talking to Matt and Rich and Mike all about our strategies that we're using with ManyChat. And they immediately like scheduled a webinar that we were going to do using the our reviews and autopilot system. Um, on the plane right out, I flew out with Ben, Ben DeVries and Nate McHenry, who, who were uh, friends of mine and business partners at the time for, for messenger bot university, because we were using this in 2017, um, chatbots to, to launch products and get reviews and all that stuff, build lists. No, there was no teaching on it. Nothing like, wow. um, specifically not for Amazon sellers. So we were like, man, we could be the first course on the market. Like, so let's start a course and That's we're like, awesome. okay, so we did it. And we, we were the first course on the market for chatbots in general. And then, and specifically for Amazon many chat, like chatbots. Right. So I'm not going to say that every other course that's on chatbots for Amazon is a copycat, but I'm not, <laughs> not going to say that. You're basically not going to say that you're not the original gangster in the area. Right. No, that yeah. is what he's yeah. saying. Yeah, no, there's the too many, yeah. too many that, double negatives will, like, in my sentence. That. So, no. yeah. So I'm going to say that's not not no oh not. boy oh my head's hurting um so, do, so you guys do you guys have an active course on that subject yeah so Ooh. i um rebranded it it's called chat marketing university okay and oh, that is my the project. cmu She's... on your mic yep CMU. Ah, it looked like a college logo so i was like oh he's rocking a college team hey well look at that and i designed that in like 30 minutes <laughs> that's awesome so um yeah so that's uh chat marketing university is the course on basically launching it's the og course on how to use chatbots to you know rank products launch get reviews awesome. all within terms of service on amazon um because of the webinar um that that i did with amazing um they also they also flew me out to austin to speak at a high level mastermind and then i was in amsterdam that year i spoke at their thing in amsterdam and um, since then I've just been doing all speaking events, all on chatbots. Wow. Um, I spoke at the many chat conference, the, um, second conversations conference in 2019. Okay. Um, back when there were conference. conferences, mm -hmm. <laughs> back when there were conferences, back when there were conferences, yeah. what are conferences? Uh, you know, I, uh, it's a, it's a archaic it, term that <laughs> yeah, is actually no longer that. applicable or <laughs> used in Webster. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's weird. Mm. Yeah. It's been deprecated. Yeah. It's been, it's been deprecated. Okay. He's whispering me. I need to go see my son. So I'll let you. I'll. Do you want to go up or? I will, I'll be done. Okay. Bye. Okay. Anyway, so. Um, the, the moms have left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's. She hears Bo piddling around upstairs, and he's supposed to be at school in front of his laptop. Yep. In school. Yeah, I love school, so, and when it's actually occurring, like that, my kids are at school right now. Just, just a great thing. That would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Come to Florida. Move to Florida. Still. 
we will never close. I'm not saying Good. that in any politically, any kind of way, but the, you know, government out here will not let anything close. So yeah, there you go. I, 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 I could take that rabbit trail, but I won't because I wish that our governor did the same. But I'm not, I'm not going to go down that hole. No, we should but, avoid that one. That's like r- r- flashing red lights. Don't do, don't do, don't right. do. Um, so, no. Yeah. So yeah, long story short, yes, I've done a lot of speaking. High level masterminds, big, massive conferences, thousands of attendees. And um, I love it. Um, it's I, awesome. I was always doing it just to like help people, you know, get exposure for the course. The biggest con- the big- biggest questions that people would always ask is if they could hire me, and I'd always tell them no. If they could <laughs> consult, and you, I'd try to price myself out because I didn't have time. Yeah. And then inevitably, people would be like, "Okay, well, I'll pay your exorbitant rate." And like, Damn it, <laughs> you're like ten thousand dollars an hour. It's awesome, but terrible. <laughs> I wish. I wish that that was it. Maybe I'll try that. I know. <laughs> That's what you uh, need to you give guys a know, shot. You guys know Norm Farrar? No, I've heard the name That's, for sure. So yeah. Norm, his day rate is ten is ten grand, That's and that's what awesome. he told me to do. He's that's like, awesome. you should just do ten grand and yeah. say that they have to buy a minimum of a half day. It's a nice round number too. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. easy to calculate. Um, so then here's so we definitely because we had we've had other marketers on this show and it's a it's a popular point because it's an area where I think a lot of people have a weakness. So um, we'll definitely make sure to put the link to your course in the description of this video because. Manny chat is an area where I think a lot of sellers could see a great benefit if they incorporated it correctly or better or at all. So and, and there's a lot of confusion on that. Yeah. And, yeah. and that can be That's easily right. handled. So much confusion. And Facebook isn't doing themselves any favors either. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. And um, so then here's here's the way we kind of do this show. And and I know that we're running out of time because I know you got to get gone in like 25 minutes. So here's the way we usually do this. I want to actually basically wrap. I want to get one tip from you for our broad audience. Uh, let's say a, a Manny Chat tip or a marketing tip or a branding tip. And then what we'll do is we'll end it for the broad audience. And then what we do is we have like a 10, 15 minute little segment right at the end that we do for just the managed by stat subscribers and that's okay. exclusive content we throw it on a platform that only they can get to so oh. let's we'll we'll basically wrap with one last little bit what would be like one tip doesn't have to be manage chat could be anything that you would say is a must for people 2021 to focus on implement that kind of thing so in general whether you're starting or you're an experienced seller uh, you really need to think about building your business to sell. And what I mean by that is like you need to establish processes and systems that are going to sustain you long term whether or not you intend to sell. Because what that's what that's going to do is it's going to help you run more efficiently. Mm-hmm. Your uh you're going to have more of your own time. You're going to look at areas that like are, you know, 5 10 hour $10 per hour tasks that are time sucks. And it, it is a lot of work, it, like creating processes and yeah. hiring SFPs. people and training people is, it's a lot of work, but it is worth it because what it frees you up to do is focus on those $10,000 per hour tasks. I mean, we said that facetiously, but really, yeah. um, the new agency that we started, the chat agency, my goal is to be at nine figures in revenue in three years. Um, and that's extremely aggressive. Um, and I understand that. And the only way that we can do that is by having effective systems. Yep. And the only way that I know how to do this, is like looking at Bowen Bell Littles and learning from my mistakes. So think long term, think how you can sell. And so it's going to help you with systems and it's going to help you focus on branding too. Yeah. Whether or not you know anything about branding, it's going to cause you to think about those things. And, and branding is the difference between, well, Branding creates conversations. Brand, yeah. Branding is what makes you think of things as solutions. Right. Marketing is what gets you to buy those solutions. Mm-hmm. Um, but branding is is the one of the most important things that most Amazon sellers ignore, and and that allows you that forces you to think outside the box, like forces you to look for like contests that you can apply to win, or blogs that you can be on, or best of lists that you can you know petition to be on, or you know, random, crazy, insane, middle of the night ideas. Like, you know what? I'm just going to start emailing athletes, agents, and and yeah. seeing if we can do partnerships. And then like doing expecting it. to not, <laughs> like that sort of stuff is 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 what's going to propel those ideas, like outside the box box thinking. So, um, 
I would, that would be my, my biggest suggestion is, is build your business. Like you're going to sell it, even if you don't intend to, that's a um, very good focus advice on like the brand story. Sorry, Dana. I didn't mean to like overspeak you. Actually, it's fine. I, was, I think he, I overspoke he you. He overspeak spoke you. And the problem is that whenever you do anything with zoom, there's that lag, that yeah. lag. which just ruins life. Yeah. So, f sorry, finish. Uh, Go ahead. I, there's like the, the, one of the theme sayings for 2020 is insert name. You're on mute. <laughs> 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 but, um, yeah, I guess that's it. Like, don't be so focused on Amazon. Um, a lot of the quote unquote gurus are, yes, they are very good at what they're doing, but, uh, most of the time in this space, you're going to hear a lot of the same advice from everybody. Um, and you really need to expand your thinking and, and your listening to off Amazon experts, people that are genuinely experts at marketing. That's yeah. awesome. Like genuine experts at branding, because, um, those are the things that are going to help you win the race. Like that's why we can sell our product at twice the cost of the nearest competition. Wow. I mean, that's why we own the best seller badge. That's why we're, we're in, and if you do a search results, uh, go to Google and search for best swim diapers. We're in seven of the 10 best of lists that come up on page one. That's awesome. my goal is to be in all 10. I want to be number one on all 10. Um, number and one all of that comes there. because I'm focused on building a solid brand and doing effective marketing. And Amazon is just a channel. Like yep. it's not my business. Yeah, right. that's I brilliant. Mean, knock on wood, but I mean, yes, we would. It, it would be devastating if we lost Amazon. But you get what I'm saying. Point yeah. being is, you'd survive because you have that brand. You have built to the from the perspective of if I sell this, it you know does it sell value. Right. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Well, then what we're gonna do here, we are going to wrap the podcast for everyone. Yeah snip for everyone else who's watching this on youtube apple podcast spotify all that stuff so make sure to if you're watching on youtube subscribe also here's the let's just be totally honest here if you're subscribed it means literally nothing if you don't hit that bell that little bell icon and hit all uh you're not actually gonna ever see or hear anything that we do so make sure to subscribe and to turn on notifications uh apple make sure you give us a five-star review and to carry on the joke that someone said the other day um if you have figured out a way to trick the algorithm to add a sixth star we will definitely take it it's always helpful um, other than <laughs> Until that. Until they put it in their TOS otherwise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this is a place where you can ask for a shameless five-star review. So give us a five-star review on any platform you can. And uh, with that, we will see you next week. Otherwise, for uh, all of our MBS subscribe listeners, hold one moment. <laughs> We're going to stop speaking.